I really didn't know what to expect when I um, applied to be a teacher resident, um, but the process has gone very smoothly. There's a great support system that is built into Project Nurture. Um, we have the support of our professors at Georgia State University. We have the support of our um, team at Douglas County School System, as well as our um, administrators and mentor teachers at the elementary school. So I feel like the process has gone very smoothly because we have such a great, intense support system. The most challenging part of the program was just initially getting started um, during the summer, starting graduate coursework. Um, but once I learned the routine and the expectations of each course, um, now I'm, I know exactly what to expect um, going forward in future coursework. And the um, least challenging part of the program uh, would be just being in the classroom, being with the kids and getting to practice um, what we're learning in our coursework with our children directly. I think that Douglas County has a lot of untapped potential in their paraprofessionals um, here within the county. Um, I've met and worked with some of the most amazing people who are paraprofessionals. Um, I strongly suggest if you're currently a paraprofessional and you do have your bachelor's degree, and you're thinking to continue in this profession that you apply for the program, I promise you won't regret it. My experience as a resident uh, really showed me my resilience and strength and true calling for um, the opportunity to participate in such a wonderful and rewarding um, program to afford uh, the ability to teach and sow into the next generation. The best parts have been, um, I would say, the projects and just um, the correlation between um, what I am learning through terms. Like, I know a lot of how to do these things and um, have experienced them throughout the years as a paraprofessional. However, learning the terms really helps to ground um, when the best time would be to incorporate these things. I definitely think and hope that more paraprofessionals will take um, the opportunity to participate in Project Nurture. I think that they would be most beneficial um, to the program because they have been um, often in the trenches, if you will, or with the learning environment for so long that, again, they have experienced a lot of what they will learn in Project Nurture and can build and grow from the things that they learn. When I originally applied, I just expected just some kind of teacher certification program. I never would imagine that I would pretty much be brought into a family. Um, the mentoring and the nurture that's built into this project is just phenomenal. Um, nine times out of 10, especially when you're in school online, it's almost like you're in outer space. It's almost like you're on a planet by yourself. But because we have so much reinforcement and I'm part of a cohort, you know, we get to cry on each other's shoulders, we support each other, and it's like a true college experience, but later on in life without all the, you know, silliness. The work-school-life mixture is always challenging because, you know, you have certain obligations for your family, you definitely want to be diligent on your job, and you want to do your best when you're participating in school. So. Sometimes it, it gets to be a little bit much, but as I said, we have awesome mentors that help us through the process. And because we're mentoring with people who, A, currently work in the field, but B, understand what it's like to, you know, to carry more than just one challenge, especially because we're in the field of special education. I recommend everyone apply. I mean, I understand you already have to have a bachelor's degree, but if you plan on, you know, going further in this business, I would say strongly suggest you take on this program. Uh, whatever your accomplishments or whatever your setbacks may have been 
in your prior education, I'm telling you, there's enough support here that will help you to stay focused, that will help you stay on task and help you to achieve the best out of your interpersonal skill sets. And my name is Morolayo Janet Adeyemo. And um, I had a kind of interest in the special education students. And I actually have tried a way out so I can do my certification and be teaching them. Yes, I have a kind of feelings during my substitute teaching that there is need for more hands in that area and also have a premonition that many people don't want to go into special ed. And I felt I want to put myself in that position of the parent of a special need child or somebody, an aunt of a special need. Will I love the child to be taken care of? So those are the thoughts that propel me to go into thinking that then suddenly Project Not Just Spring Up and I just embrace it because it just met my need. I'm telling you, I'm loving it. I, I feel fulfilled. I feel like, oh, this is mission accomplished. Because I, that was what I was expecting. I was expecting um, considerate lecturers, instructors. I was expecting a good mentor. And believe you me, both in the school and in my high school, that I have stationed, it's what I expected and um, I'm loving it every day. Somebody who is ready to be selfless. If, if you're ready to impart love, if you are ready to bring up somebody that maybe the society think they can't make it, if you're ready to make sure that you make it, then you want to come in into the show. Because even though there's this a lot of things to do, the job, the class, and since we also have our own family, you want to sit up and say, okay, do, do I really want to do this? So you must also have a heart of love. And that is, the main ingredient that I had, love. Love to distribute to these children and to also make life easy for my colleagues.